There was a period where I couldn't go a week without a shooter of some variety to gush about or strip down. While trends like this are to be expected, it sorely tested my interest in the genre. What makes it odd is the distinct void that I hadn't anticipated from having not played a shooter in a long time, and the idea of boss battles free, abstract boss fighting gameplay was like an oasis in a vast, dry desert. One should caveat the whole free thing before moving on though. For those familiar with Backflip Studios, you'll recognise their method of extracting payment from their customers through obtrusive banner advertisements slathered over the top of the screen. In-app purchases for additional gems are also available, though no ad-free option seems to be on the cards. These gems are used as upgrade tokens and are exchanged for permanent unlocks and upgrades for weapons and pods. You'll need to make the most of these gems as each boss has a particular weakness, almost Mega Man style, that makes taking it out a snap relatively speaking. See, killing a boss will initially only unlock the next in a series of eight stages, filled with a wave of minions followed by a tense boss battle, hence the eponymous title. This only annoys the creature, and the next time you attempt to kill it, for an increased bounty, the boss will sport a few new tricks, often amounting to increasingly complex minions and more bullets. Sadly, there's no real challenge to the bosses, as the patterns are simplistic. A thing you'll be grateful for, as keeping track of the small purple bullets can be a pain, especially when your ship's hitbox is so large. Once you've picked up on the optimal weapon setup and attack strategy, you'll be laughing all the way to the bank. Boss Battles makes its case entirely off the back of its free price point, something some gamers will no doubt appreciate, but a minimal investment opens up the door to a host of far deeper abstract shooter experiences. A decent budget title for the shooter fan with spare time. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.